way to do the baby massage so before we start you know you would have a lot of queries like you know when should we do the baby massage what is the ideal time what type of oil should be used let us discuss about the ideal time when we need to start off with the baby massage so once the baby is born you should wait for at least 15 to 16 days to start off with the baby massage why because you would have a cord which is attached to the umbilicus that has to fall off once the cord is off if you have no sign of infection that is when you will start off with the baby massage fine so this is the time when you need to stop so now coming to the ideal time so when we speak about the ideal time it's not the ideal time which is related to you it's the baby's ideal time when the baby is alert and active so you need to see the baby should be interactive why because any stroke what you do you should have a reflex there should be a perception where the baby is interacting to you that is when you would have the total benefit of the baby massage so now coming to the feet so you should not be doing the baby massage when the baby is hungry so it has to be something like you know 30 to 40 minutes post feeding or post breast feeding when you start with the baby massage so we have cleared with two queries the third one is usually you know what type of oil so what i usually say couples couples is anything which goes good for you also goes good for the baby so what you can do is you can do a small patch test so when we speak about the most sensitive areas of the body elbow is one what you can do is if you have to do the baby massage tomorrow you take a little pinch of oil you apply it over here you do few strokes over here and then leave it the next day in the morning you can see in the light if there is no sign of infection which is there yes you can use that oil for the baby massage now coming to what type of the techniques what you can be doing before we start with the techniques let us look into the positions so what are the different positions where you can be doing the baby massages so ideally you can be doing it standing the way i am doing it over here today so you can always have the baby in front of you so always interact with the baby you can also do it in the traditional way where you know you have the baby which is like you know on the feet where the baby's head is a little more upward so that the baby can breathe better so this is also an ideal way which you can be doing or else you can be placing the baby over here in the sideways you can also be seated in front of the baby this is the different positions what you can be starting with the baby massage so when you're doing the baby massage it's very important you should not be slouching too much forward because you need to keep your back upright so that you don't end up with any lower back issues so now coming to how you need to be starting with the baby massage so whenever you start with the baby massage it's very important to interact with the baby so you i'm just saying you know hi baby we are going to be starting with the baby massage so what it is is you're giving a clue to the baby so next time whenever you're doing the massage the baby would be mentally prepared that you're going to be starting with the baby massage okay so whenever you're starting with the baby massage you should always start with the lower extremity to the upper extremity so you're going to be starting with the feet then you go to the abdomen chest hand and face and back this is how you're going to be proceeding so now coming to the feet so how exactly you're going to be doing it for the feet is first thing is what you need to do is this is your ankle over here what you need to do is you need to hold the baby so whenever we are speaking about holding the baby so see you can hold it like this but this is going to be a little more painful it's more like a pinch so if you're holding like this it's more comfortable so what you need to be doing is whenever you're holding the baby see to you're having this type of a grip so just going to be holding the baby like this so i'm going to be placing the baby forward and then i would show you how exactly you're going to be doing it what you need to do the first stroke is you're opening up the fingers of the baby so usually whenever you see a newborn you will always see a newborn in a flex position the feet is always folded so what you do is you slowly open up their fingers this is what you're going to be doing slowly opening up your fingers then what you do is you go circling on the ankle area so these are the joint prominent see which is going to be there so especially when you see swelling so what happens is you always see it in the ankle malleolus So what happens is when you do a circling over there, it will help you in training of the lymphatic system. So what you need to do is you need to go about doing simple circles over there, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Okay. Then comes the Swedish as well as the Indian mighty. So when we speak about the Swedish mighty, it is basically towards the body. So it is in in the direction of the lymph nodes. Then you have the Indian mighty. It is towards you. So this is basically for increasing strength as well as getting the joint into a little more prominence. so i would demonstrate it over here like this so that you know you're going to slowly open up the fingers okay then you're going to do stroking you have the ankle stroking you can also do thumb over thumb so you have this thumb where you're going into upward direction over here 
so thumb over thumb and then you're doing a sweet dish as well as an Indian mind. So this is what you're going to be doing for the feet. So now coming to the chest. So when we speak about the chest, you should also know how to differentiate the chest from the abdomen. So you have something which is prominent over here that's basically called as the xiphoid process. That is basically the respiratory organ. Below that is the abdomen. So now coming to the chest. So when you're doing the massage for the baby, you can place the baby like this. But because I am doing it so that you, you, you are able to see it. So what you need to do in the first stroke is basically called as an open book. So you're just slowly opening the book like this. This is the first row. So what happens is in this you're going to be increasing the respiratory system. You're opening up your chest. So you're increasing the oxygen level. So you're opening up the lungs. So this is basically open book. Then you do the butterflies where you're doing the cross dimension movement. You're just going like this and then you're moving your hand this way. So this is what you're going to be doing for the chest. So what you're going to do is, you can you, usually you have to place your hands like this. So you're just going to do open book, then you're just going to go upwards like this, the cross way. So this is, and you're going to be opening up the book. So when we speak about stroking, so you would also have a query, you know, how many strokes to be done. So it's important to know only 7 to 10 strokes which has to be done because what happens is, just imagine I'm just hitting you like this constantly and repeatedly. After a while you feel it's going now. So you should only have ideally 7 to 10 strokes which has to be done. So now when we speak about abdomen, it's very important to massage the abdomen because you would have the colic and gas coming out. So when we speak about the strokes in the abdomen, we have three strokes. One is the sun and moon. What you can do is if you have the umbilicus over here, you can slowly go stroking over here. Sun and moon. So this is what you need to be doing. Like this. Then you have the hand and hand over. So you have one hand, you just move it like this. So you would have the colic and gas coming out. So this is what you need to be doing. Yes. And then this is the second stroke and the third stroke is called as I love you. Yeah. It is a little tricky one but nice one. So how exactly you're going to be doing this? So when we speak about our larger intestine, you have the area which is going to be expelled out over here. So when we speak about the stroke, it is very important to know where you do the exit. So it is I reverse L and reverse U. I love you. So this is how you would have the expulsion of the gas and everything which is coming out of the system. So this is with related to the abdomen. So now coming to the face. So when we speak about the face, so the other parts of the body are a little more you know prominent. You would have a little more of a skin and the fascia but skin is very delicate. So it's very important to know what type of a pressure are you applying on the skin. So when we speak about the skin we have just three strokes. One is over here, over here just above the eyebrows where you put a little more, bit of a pressure and you slowly take it upwards. So I would demonstrate it on myself and show you. So you can have two fingers or you can have thumb. So if you're doing it where the baby is lying down, you can do it with the thumb or you can even use your fingers over here. So I just stroke it like this. So when we speak about our facial muscle, everything is like this. You have all the facial nerves and everything which is there over here which forms the trunk. So what you do is you work on both the facial muscles. So one is you're just going to be stroking like this and the last stroke will be from your lips where you're going upward like this. So this is again improving of your jaws. So you do one stroke over here and another stroke over here. So you will have your jaws which are getting prominent. And one more thing is you would have heard a lot of you know elderly ladies doing saying you know you need to do some type of a massage on your nasal bone. No, the nasal bone is already developed. You should not be doing anything to the nasal area of the baby because it will irritate the baby. So now coming to the back. So when we speak about the back, you can have the baby in a prone position like this, or you can even have the baby over here on your chest like this. So what you can be doing is first thing is what we do is we do circular motions like this. Then you have the whole spinal area where we are just going to be damping the baby so that you have the spinal development which is happening and the last one is scooping. So why scooping is important is so we are the only mammals who are standing on two limbs. Why? Because our gluteal glute, glutes are really prominent. So when we do scooping you will see your glutes getting more prominent. So this is how you need to be doing the scooping for the back. So when we speak about the pressure, it's very important because it's a newborn skin. So what you need to do is, if you're applying certain type of a pressure, you apply the pressure and you remove it. If the color is pink, it's okay. But if it is sustaining for a longer duration, 
where you see nodes just turning a little more pinkish and reddish that is when you need to minimize the pressure so it's just a gentle touch what you're going to be doing not too much of a pressure which you're going to be applying so when we speak about the baby massage you can do it on a daily basis you can do even in the morning or evening so in a week you can do it thrice so like if your baby is a little more irritated so you can start off only with massaging the feet then you can slowly progress to the other parts of the body so if you have any questions any queries which you feel you know is not relevant you can always reach out to your physiotherapist so they will help you in guiding through the process of baby massage